This still has some of that lovely go-go juice in it. Actually, this is the opposite of go-go juice. This is brake fluid. Show be the stop-stop juice. I don't know. Hello, everyone. Today, we are working on the service truck's brakes. Or rather, lack of. <laughs> Let's go ahead and start tearing it apart and see what kind of shenanigans we can get up to. Oh, yes. I guess we can start by removing the parking brake cable. Sorry about the uh, blue shopper eggs, but I gotta have them on the axle spindle so they don't rust out. There we go. Okay. That's out of the way. Going back off our adjuster. Oops, that's tightening up the adjuster. Who is this guy? Okay, backing off. Oh yeah. Sure. I watched some videos, I was quite disappointed on some of the camera angles, so this will give me a good chance, worst case scenario, to work on my camera angles. <laughs> Next, we're gonna go ahead and remove our lower spring right here. We remove it on this side. Opposite of the coil. Okay. Let us see. We'll lift it up like this. Squeeze out from this side and pull. It should come out. Yeah, famous last words like that. Maybe. All right. Next, we'll move our upper spring. This side you can remove on on either side of the coil. They're both the same length, same feature. So I'll grab this side where it's nice and open. So then removing the upper spring, it must be the same thing. Grab our hook side of our pliers here, hook it into there, squeeze against the brake, pull just a little bit and then pull out, twist out, just like that. If you really feel adventurous, you can undo the uh, other side. So I'm going to disconnect our anchor, spring, pin, it's like that. Just get in there, hook it, and roll it a little bit. It'll be fine. And you can go far, far away. Again, with the other side, I'll grab our hook side here. Try to grab just the pin. And twist a little bit. Just like that. At this point, we can remove our parking brake adjuster from our shoe. Or, well, the star wheel came up. All right, that's fine. Then we'll remove our slack adjuster, if you will. Automatic tensioner. There we go. That shoe should be able to come off now. Now, bish bash bosh, off we get. But wait, folks. We're not done yet. Oh, nay, nay. To undo the anchor, there'll be a nut on the other side. And that said nut would be right there. Yes, I know we're working the night shift tonight, but hopefully the lighting will be satisfactory enough. Aha. May have to work it out a little bit. There we go. If I was smart, I got an open end wrench, but psh, must be serious. Actually, let's not be serious. Okay. Did that work? Sounds like it. Now this is the part where normal content creators, okay, okay, I'll just do the other side because it's all the same and we'll be right back and that's cool. 
<laughs> but I'm not normal, am I? <laughs> All right, so once again, parking brake lever. Pardon, pardon the neighbors. There we go. Hook and pull. Hook. There we go. Okay. Don't get the new brake pli pliers that are in the auto stores. Those will let you down. I've had them hook and curl right up here before. You gotta get the old American steel type. Only way to go. All right, so we're gonna, in theory, back this uh, the star gear out, our adjuster gear, maybe. Might, no, I'm going the other way. Y'all stop yelling at me. There's no need for that kind of language. This is a family friendly channel. Believe it or not, I know, kind of bizarre. Now will you drop out? Thank you. How did I do this? I think it went like this. <laughs> okay, well, that's definitely easy enough. Now we can take off one shoe. Oh, there we go. Oops, perfect. Yeah, there was some life left in the brake shoe, eh? Sure, why not? Good for one last stop until it catches on fire and welds itself to the drum. <laughs> All right. I'm glad when brake lines actually behave themselves. At least on my rigs. <laughs> Which is a rare occurrence, to be honest. Alright, I think we're going to go inside the shop now and uh, do some cleaning and overhauling. Being as how I can't leave well enough alone, we're going to take apart our parking brake levers and do a bit of cleaning with them. So, we're just gonna knock this pin over right here. Boom! <coughs> Smells like brake dust. Yummy. Okay, there goes that piece there. Of course, that piece there. Just like that. All right. Let's fire up the master blaster. This process is 100% unnecessary. But I have a sandblaster and golly gosh darn it, it's fun using it, so I'm going to use it. Alright, let's do the big, big iron first, eh? Alright. By the way, I switched over to glass beads, uh, much coarser styles. So hopefully you guys can see it a little bit better.
nothing now, my little pretties. You are next. Now you know how sometimes I get carried away. Of course we sandblast it, I can't help but paint it. <laughs> it's worth a couple extra horsepower points, let's be serious. So, I shall go ahead and give us a nice paint job on both sides. And we'll come right back to reassemble it. All right, now that we have a big, beautiful, blue jumbled pile of blueness, let's go ahead and try to create some order out of this chaos. What are you talking about? I don't know. That should go there, and then here, here, then this will go this way. Yep. All right, that's one of them. Oh, oh, that one almost got away from us. Let's go with this right. Nice. Excellent. All right, we got some much cleaner parking brake levers. New hardware. Fantastic. Love it. All right, brake shoes. We need to put our, I call it a slack adjuster because I deal with semis. <laughs> we got a new set to go on the new brakes. But before you do that, make sure you know which one's your primary and secondary shoes. I had to do a voice over here because I kind of <laughs> confused myself on this for a second. Uh, the primary shoes and secondary shoes. If you line them up at the bottom, if you look at the middle of the video, the secondary shoe is going to be considerably longer there on the right than the primary shoe you see directly to the left of it. I notice that the secondaries also have a little bit more lining than the primaries. Just a little bit, a couple of millimeters, but there is a difference. So, as to why the secondary shoe is going to have a lot more meat than your primary shoe, basically one size is going to wear faster than the other, and to explain that physics, it's actually better for me to hand that portion of the explaining off to Jeff at Elderly Iron. He doesn't know I'm going to link his video, but it's an awesome video. It takes about 20 seconds. It would take me about three minutes of fumbling about. He explains it all 100% better than I ever could. So the link for that will be in the description below on my channel, with including with the timestamp. Crystal clear and to the point. So if you want to know the physics, pop over on his channel uh, with a video I link down below, and that should score you away. So let's go ahead and put some new slack adjusters on our secondary shoes. Or brake adjusting lever, whatever. I 
Uh, ha! That works. Gasket scraper sometimes works to open up packages. Oh, yes. Nope, I don't have that right. This is just pitiful because it's sitting right here. Silly. Oh, I got the wrong spring on. Ha! Ooh, it's time for bed. One's blue, the other one's gray. Mm-hmm. Well, apparently that does make a difference. Quit screaming, people. I hear you. Actually, I don't. <laughs> um, there we go, like that. And then it comes up and around. Oh, wait. There we go. All right, I'm digging it. Okay, so now this guy should rest over here. And then, yes, over here, lift up and over. Yeah, excellent. All right. All right. Fantastic. All right, so let's see if we can rebuild our wheel cylinders. <laughs> With my luck, I don't know what kind of evil lurks underneath here. Mm. Oh, cool, I can't even get the bleed screws out. Hey, Dum Dum, maybe you should have undid it when I was still bolted to the truck. What? No. We're junking these and putting the power bleeders or uh, speedy bleeders in there. Oh, goodness. There we go. It's been a few years since these have been loosened up, I think. Mmm. <laughs> yummy. Right then. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, the uh, seal looks a little bit on the chunky side. <laughs> Ah. Woo! Well, actually came out fairly easily. Oops. Well, as we don't have any seized piston in the bores. Or, see, I see some ding marks in there as well. Hmm. Interesting. This thing may have been rebuilt. Yeah, I see a few dings right there, too. A little nick right there. It feels smooth enough. I mean, if I do this, it feels perfectly smooth. It might work. Yes, I know for five dollars, I can buy me a new one, or rebuild, whatever. But honestly, this is my first time uh, attempting to rebuild a wheel cylinder. I know all you gray beards are going to uh, young punk, la 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 la. <laughs> well, I'm gonna start somewhere. I usually just remove and replace, but parts getting harder and harder to find. Might as well start building up the skill to learn how to actually rebuild them. Or at least, <laughs> in my case, refurbish them. Another reason why I wanted to refurbish it? You don't see that stamped on many parts anymore. Quick, name that hockey game where we chanted that many times. It was back in the 80s. It was a biggie. The board feels pretty smooth. I got a hone tool. We do have some rust there. Fortunately, that's actually build up and not pitted. So actually, this might rebuild rebuild just fine. Let's go get our honing tool right quick and see what that cleans up like. So, go and put some Earl up in here. Do this a couple more times. That looks all right. 
That rust cleaned up. I still see some pitting right you know you guys are probably not gonna see barely see it on the shadow there's a little bit of pitting right there where that rust spot was the good thing is it's right underneath the outlet so that's pretty much on the other side of the piston pistons aren't going to travel through there so actually i'm really not worried about it so we'll go ahead and set that aside and let's bust out the other one right quick right quick ah <laughs> Oh, well, this looks a lot shinier. Hmm, promising. I really hope. Oh, this is, oh, oh, okay. Well, thank you kindly. This still has some of that lovely go-go juice in it. Actually, this is the opposite of go-go juice. This is brake fluid. Show be the stop stop juice. I don't know. Caffeine's wearing off. Well, let's put our punch in here. Just do a light tap tap tap. Thank you. Uh, about the same looking. Same rust spot as the other one. <laughs> Scrape that off right quick. You're scratching it. Yeah, I haven't honed it yet. Nobody freak out. Ooh, I prefer to pick it just in case there's a big chunky that doesn't want to come on. There we go. All right. Evenly, evenly. Again, we still have that pitting right here where the rust was. That is right dead center in the middle of the uh, housing. Pistons, I don't think, ride that far, so uh, we might be all right. That was round two. Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll be all right. Risk it for the biscuit, eh? Right. Let's go ahead and clean these up here. I'm gonna give these a nice little scrubby scrub. So that's probably gonna take a hot minute. Get the pistons cleaned up too, and uh, catch you guys on the flip side for uh, reassembly. Okay, hey, we gotta do this quick because there's supposed to be oil in here, not solvent. So we gotta be quick about this before it flash rusts on us. And yes, for point of reference, I've already blown out all the passageways ways and all that fun stuffs. Right, a couple of rebuilding kits here. I'm just gonna go ahead and lube up the bores right now. I'm getting a little nervous. They've only been out a few minutes, but with steel, after you expose it, you know, it just flashes over so fast. <laughs> all right. All right, piston number one. Looks like the right one. Well, I can get it in there aligned right. Oops. That was sketchy. Oop, easy. Easy now. All right. <laughs> you know me, I probably would have forgotten the spring. <laughs> I'm just saying. That goes in through here, maybe, gently, no, there it goes. There we go. Right then, put our dust boot on again. Ooh, ooh easy, <laughs> don't go falling on the floor. Be sensible here. Nope. That was empty. There we go. Ah! There goes my 
brake fluid oil all over the workbench and on the wall. It's lovely. Lube this up. Like that. I wonder if I could just push them in through here, eh? As long as I'm very careful with the seal. Really don't care to drag those pistons over that rust pitted area. Although I did hone it, but still. Yeah, yeah, that should work too. I mean, dumb enough, if you put the piston in, it'll go down evenly. Yeah. Yeah, looks good. Okay. Like I said, this is the very first time we're doing this. I've seen a few videos how to do this. So I expect all the keyboard warriors to, you know, come out and say what a redneck hillbilly I am. Which, you know, facts. <laughs> um, anywho, I'll push this cup down in here. Honestly, it's not that bad. I just installed that backwards. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now that oh, how boom blades am I supposed to get that out? Hmm. Okay, whatever. Just have to pop it out with the spring pressure. Oh, there it goes. All right, let's try that again. That's reset. It's in there. Now this time, that goes in here. That. All right. Next comes the piston. Nice and gently. All right. So I just say one thing: these dust boots are pretty gosh darn tight. A lot of people will say, all right, we're moving on, right? No, no, no. We still got work to do on these things. What work, you might say? Speedy bleeders. This has got them fancy smancy one-way check valves. You open these up. Push up and down on the pedal. It will only allow fluid to exit and not to enter. So you can bleed your brakes using the pressure method with basically the conventional method but without anyone controlling the on and off opening and closing of these it's done automatically through a check ball valve it's brilliant okay so maybe these will thread in They got Loctite on them or thread sealed, but he'll be fine. Check this out. Zipping down. And please don't cram these down to 80,000 foot pounds. All right, about there. All right. Just double check this one right quick. Yep, that's bombed out. Kind of hard to tell because it gets kind of stiff towards the end because of the thread sealing on there, but. Okay, I declare that these are ever so slightly refurbished and ready to mount back in the pickup. You know, I don't know why I'm going so far in depth as to clean this thing up and make pretty colors out of the brake components, but I'm actually kind of hoping they'll make it for a good thumbnail. And if not, I'm probably just gonna use it anyways. <laughs> That is some nasty, nasty dust. Light junkies. I'm gonna change my solvent tank after this. Swatch. Yes, I painted the wheel cylinders. Don't judge me. <laughs> or judge me, I don't care. What was that? Yes, I even painted the actuator rods. Rods.
So I'm a little bit tired because some guy decided to freaking paint all the linkages. Yeah, it's tool tight enough, I guess. Take our star wheel and fix it up right quick. Good enough, got, got enough on there? Come on, man. Plus side goes in here. The other side goes in here. Oh, I forgot which hole it was. Ooh, nope, can't tell. I gotta go review the tape. Tape has been reviewed. Lower hole it is. Maybe I'll do spring first, then star gear. Well, that seems to work out a lot better. All right. Well, I'm not ready to put the brakes on after all. Some of them prep the shoes right. We left out our cable bracket. piece I forgot to install. All right, now we can put on our shoes. Sweet. It's not falling down. <laughs> Was there ever a doubt in your mind? Because there is sure heck doubt in mine. <laughs> really? I'll get this. Just hang on. Maybe we'll just spend all night putting a single spring anchor in, eh? That's not my idea of fun, really. Simple as that. It only took me seven or eight tries. <laughs> I know I do it, I only have to do it again three more times. Oh, yes. All right. Second one's on. Now you might be saying to yourself at this point, this is why I hate drum brakes, all this, blah, 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 blah. Nah. It's not that bad, to be honest. Just gotta think about it a little bit more methodically. Take lots of pictures. <laughs> a lot of pictures. Or in my case, videotape. Love me some tape. I'd rather be stuck in the past, in all honesty, than this present day and age. Now if I'm gonna get my ancient pliers to work here. They work just fine as the dummy who's operating them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Message received and understood. Really? Alright. And... There we go. All right. 
And I see the star wheel here is not clicking. That's a bad thing, which means that my brakes will not be able to auto adjust themselves. Now, originally I thought that that blue spring was a bit out of whack, but turns out, no, it's the adjusting lever itself that is to blame. Another fine product of cheap overseas junk parts. So I'm going to do the jump cut right here. I'm going to show you how to fix that. Whoa, easy with the camera there, cowboy. My star wheel is a bit of a bugger. It works now. It won't go back. You got to pull it out. The lever to reset it. Basically, this arm right here is perfectly straight. It needs to be slightly curved into the star wheel. Such as you see here. See how that arm is not straight? See how it curves in right there where it rides on the star wheel? Yeah, the new one is perfectly straight. So maybe all I did to circumvent that was uh, I just went like this. I just went tap, tap, tap to get the curve hook piece meshing up against the star wheel. Now, now it works just fine. All right. Let's go ahead and do the other side now. I declare I think this side is complete. That's a shocker. <laughs> Part of the noise, but the construction guys are at it, or as you guys would say in the Europe, the builders are at it. Yeah, we'll take our vice grips and lock that into place, and we'll tab these over. I require a punch or chisel device. Ah, there it is. Look, the service truck box is already starting to get filled up with junk. All right. Adjustment cable bracket has been installed. A little gentle persuasion. Oi, really? When the paint wears off, it'll float fine. <laughs> As you can see, the guys next door are having plenty of fun while I'm here working on brakes. Right. Flexes fairly easily. One actuator rod. Two. He has a bug grease on him. Like a good little boy I am. Sometimes am. <laughs> Need one of these. I really want to start yelling back at him for fun. <laughs> Adjuster has been never seized or anti seized, whatever. Uh, crud muffin. I can't remember where the coil side is already. It's, it's the next day. Hold on a second. Yeah, you know, over here. And then Alright, fine, we'll do the spring first and the adjuster wheel. Whatever. Picky, picky, picky.
to get this actuator rod to behave itself. Twist. Twist. And shout. There we go. Right. So here. simply Seems to work. Woohoo! Good, because I wasn't looking forward to doing that. Now I was going to show you with this arm, you bend it in a little bit, but this particular side, it ratchets just fine. It doesn't go back at all, so apparently this one's bent enough, I don't have to do that. Eh, okay, whatever. <laughs> well that one's ready to be adjusted when we get the drum on. side is done and the driver's side is also done and you thought this brake episode was over <laughs> I mean come on who doesn't like long episodes that's right kids Enough for me. Swear air brakes are so much easier to work on. None of this fluid messing about. Air brakes can have their own problems too. Distribution valves freezing up. Relay is going bad. This will work fine for our application. Ooh, imagine putting air brakes on this thing. Ooh, now there's a hot mod we can do one day. It would serve absolutely no purpose, but it would be fun. I might make a note of that. I have to put a big, big axle in here. <laughs> yeah. Then we've got to put four-wheel drive, put it on 36-inch swampers, have it completely built to be useless, such as myself. Hmm, I must ponder upon such things. Where's my flare wrench? You know what? There we go. 716s will do just fine. Okay. Are we done now? Nope. We got a brake hose we got to replace. This would be the main brake hose coming from the master cylinder to our T to go left and right. I'm going to replace the rubber hose. I don't know the year it was put on if it's original or not i highly doubt it because we got a zip tie right here this has completely come off the anchor post down here so i think we're going ahead and swap that out and then only then am i considering that an episode now nah, quit looking at the timestamp. i saw you i see how you guys are there's only what two three of you left so you know props okay um, I hope this is a fairly simple operation. 
Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. That's not good. That's not good. No, no, no. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. However, in instances like these, first of all, get rid of your zip tie. I have found success by holding this there, simply vice gripping it off. Hey, I believe I did this on the brake master cylinder, and it actually does work. All you gotta do is clamp it on there tight and vice grip the bahooty out of it. I said bahooty. Like that. See? Broke loose. Fabulous, darlings. Hope you're all taking notes. Okay. That is loose. I shall do that to the other side before I get too carried away. Well, that was a lot easier. Okay. Top one came off with relative ease. Really hoping I don't break this clip. Get any dust in there. Rotate it till it goes in. There we go. Alright. Sealed up in there enough for a second. Go ahead. It's 30 years of dust rain down on my head. <laughs> This will work as a wrench, right? This won't strip anything out. <laughs> See here. Oh, that's good. I have no clue what the dealio here is. Oh, there's okay. So that's my vent pipe. <laughs> I thought that was just a placeholder. I'll be darned. I really don't feel like putting that on there. Uh, whatever. All right. Okay. Bang. Oh, it is. It is sort of George Garage banging me. Julian, I got things to do. What do you want now? No. Oh. <laughs> Just telling him what I'm doing. <laughs> Dude, put some cardboard down. <laughs> Come on now, let's be reasonable. Wow, these are horrible cutters. Google it, moogly. Oh, well, I'm throwing those things in the trash. Bit of a conundrum is how this is supposed to mount, because that's a vent. That's my vent for the axle. I may have to look at my donor truck I bought and see what see what mysteries it can tell me. Well, now that I'm thoroughly annoyed with this project, I can say all the brake system components has been overhauled and or have gone through. For the new subscribers, welcome to my black hole project where I just throw money at it and it just evaporates and the truck never goes anywhere. <laughs> hasn't been on the road in over two years still so marvelous we'll have good times ahead of us as soon as i finish this truck i hope but we persevere 
fixing old iron to go fix more old iron. I like that storyline. Unfortunately, it's making me go bankrupt. <laughs> With that being said, thank you everybody for watching. We'll see you guys soon. Oh, that's pretty dark, isn't it? Oh, get, get a light. Guys can't see anything. Is that lighting a little bit better? Does that plead with your majesties? Well, that's all you're getting from this peasant. <laughs> all right, I guess I got to start the stupid show. Oops, that's the wrong knobby thingy on the tripod thingy. Do you know how sometimes I can get away with carrying, carrying away and getting care. Yeah. Do you know how I'm getting, do you know how you get in here? It might take a moment to figure out the, the magic sauce. Combination. Hello. That was my light. What is it now? Oh, hush. All right, so we're gonna, in theory, back this uh, star gear out, our adjuster gear, maybe. Might. No, I'm going the other way. <clears throat> oh, wow. Are you gonna focus? Let's see what happens. But are we done dismantling yet? Oh, heavens no. Why are you guys listing again? You guys, I swear. Oh, this is exciting, I must say. Oh, y'all. Oh, y'all. I got our snap ring pliers. Snap ring pliers, brake pliers. And we got our brake pliers here. need to fix my tripod but the show's not over folks I want to rebuild our master cylinder shoo that's not a master cylinder that's a wheel cylinder <laughs> cut 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 we're done <laughs>